Hey there, welcome back to Total Geek Live Baltimore Presents. I am Baltimore, and I am here today to talk to you about the 2014 series, Axis. Yeah, so the 2014 event called Axis, which was written by Rick Remender, and it had four different main artists on the series, which was Adam Kubert, uh, Lionel Francis Yu, Terry Dodson, and Jim Chung. Um, all four are really amazing artists, and I really enjoy um, seeing their work. So it was kind of a treat to get all four of them in one event. However, it ended up being this event. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Axis. Um, I thought it had a very interesting concept to it, uh, which was basically what would happen if the heroes and villains were inverted. Their beliefs were inverted, so good became bad and bad became good, um, which is an interesting concept and one they touched on, but given the short um, you know, duration of the series, you never really got to explore what it meant to the actor, to the to the characters, um, to be good or to be bad, and what that kind of um, what that meant for them. You only have a few characters who are affected by this um, going forward, so it kind of okay, this event happened, but what's the ramification for it? Um, so from the ashes of Genosha, the island nation, Red Skull has created uh, basically a mutant concentration camp. Uh, and this does not sit well with Magneto for obvious reasons. And he goes there to try to save his mutant kind, m mutant brethren. Um, and there he meets up with Rogue, Scarlet Witch, and Havoc, who are part of the Uncanny Avengers, um, who have been captured by Red Skull and tortured and you know, he also is being tortured as well. And so they come together and kind of try to fight him. And basically this is the first act of Axis. And Scarlet Witch and Doctor Strange and Doctor Drum, uh, Doctor Voodoo, decide that they are going to... The only way to kind of stop this from happening is to kind of capture or, or grab a hold of the part of Xavier that is good still and invert it so that... Basically, the Red Skull becomes good because of Xavier's goodness. Um, so that's the plan, and the plan goes sideways. It doesn't go with they, how they want. Um, and basically, Stephen Strange does another spell to kind of stop a lot of the people from you know, getting inverted, but it doesn't happen. Uh, so you have people who are inverted, which you know includes Iron Man. Um, it includes Captain America, which is uh, Sam the Falcon. Um, it includes Havoc, it includes Sabretooth, Carnage, um, it includes uh, Deadpool, who's now, you know, Zenpool, basically. Um, and then you have Evan, uh, one of the younger uh, mutants, who, we, who will be Apocalypse. He's inverted. So this is some, you know, really bad stuff happening. Um, and it basically extends to the whole Marvel Universe. So all the people who are good are now bad, and all the bad people who are bad are good. And it really messes up with, messes with the people um, on a big scale. And I really like the concept. I really thought it was interesting to, to uh, you know, put this, pen, put this to pen, put pen to paper and uh, create this. I just don't think it worked out as well because I don't think that beyond this event it really lived up to anything. And if you're going to tell the story, it has to have ramifications that you really see. And beyond one or two, three people, it's like it didn't happen. Um, and that's where I get kind of very frustrated. Um, and you know, you, uh, during the second act and the third act, you have the X Men who are going to who are going to set off a bomb to kill anyone who doesn't have an X gene. And that's pretty serious stuff. Um, and, you know, you have Rogue and Nightcrawler setting up to, you know, set off the bomb. And who should stop them? Mystique. An inverted Mystique comes to stop them to tell them not to do this. Um, which is interesting. And, you know, she is their mother. Uh, so it's a, you know, very interesting dynamic. And having her, you know, as a long time bad villain telling them to not do something bad is kind of interesting to see. Um, but I always have questions when you have these big events that change things a lot and you move forward. Well, what? how does the 
human populace, the, the regular citizens of the Marvel Universe, deal with this because people that they thought they could trust are now messing up and are bad. And, you know, I don't know, I don't know how to really reconcile it all. Um, and I try not to think too much about it because it kind of takes you out from the story, but sometimes I just can't help it and it just happens. Um, so there it is. Um, I know I said that this didn't have a lot of ramifications. It kind of does have ramifications. I'm just sort of choosing not to um, agree with them or listen to them. One of them um, comes in the form of Scarlet Witch. And in this event, she decides that she, you know, doesn't necessarily, doesn't necessarily decide, but she casts a spell and, you know, says only people uh, with my blood will be affected by this. And then her brother's affected by it, but not Magneto. And this is the first start to Marvel retconning that Magneto is actually not the father of the twins, uh, Wanda and Pietro. And I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it so much. Um... I just think it's a corporate chill of a move uh, that serves no one but you know, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And uh, the fans of the comics are being penalized for it. Um, and they've gone pretty far with this concept uh, in the past few years. And I'm just hoping that maybe things will warm over. Um, and we'll get another storyline saying, oh no, because you're crazy mutants or, or um, uh, magical powers, you kind of made this all up. Because it's saying that, no, they're not even mutants anymore. So, you have that coming out of it. Even though I don't want to acknowledge it, it happened and it led to a new volume of Uncanny X-Men where they kind of explore their parentage. Uh, Uncanny uh, Avengers, excuse me. Um, and you have um, the only three people who are really left inverted after this whole event is said and done is Tony, even though you don't really see any of the effects of that, so it kind of question that one, Sabretooth, and Havoc. And the only one who's gotten any real play in the last, you know, since this event came out is Sabretooth. And so you see really the only results of of that inversion. Um, and so that's pretty fascinating considering that he's been a bloodthirsty killer for ever and now he has qualms about it so that's kind of interesting to see that uh, from him and he actually served on a X-Men team after this. Um, and then Havoc and he is um, inverted so he's supposed to be bad and it's just, you don't really get to see him very often so you don't know if it's stuck or if he's fixed himself or that sounds weird if he's been changed or brought back to the good side and havoc has gone good and bad good and bad good and bad all his career so it's like okay yeah now we're getting the story again um so you get the unity uh division of the avengers uncanny avengers reformed after this that's an event that that happened um and then you have New York City being rebuilt for months after this, after the destruction of, of Axis. Um, so again, I talk about this this event, and I didn't really care for it. I read it, I bought it. Um, some of the other, you know, minis that came out with it were interesting, uh, and some of the tie-ins from the other series were, you know, did well, and I kind of found them pretty fascinating. But for the most part, it was just, it just I. I have a problem with these events that happen and sometimes they feel so rushed and they're purporting to have all these changes and then once the event's over the changes are so minimal that you're like well what even happened in it if the story's good if it's exciting and and compelling then that's fine but this one it didn't tick those boxes for me uh so i was left pretty underwhelmed and i like rick remender I thought he did a great epic on Uncanny uh, Avengers. I uh, thought he did a great job on Uncanny on the X-Force series. Um, so I know he does great work. I just feel like this was not the best. Um, and I don't know if it's because it was rushed or because there were too many kind of things happening. But it just wasn't as, as great. Um, 
But tell me what you think. Did you read Axis? Did you like it? Did you love the inversion? Um, tell me your thoughts on it and we can have a conversation. Uh, like, share, subscribe, and I hope to have more talks with you about this in the future. And as always, it's all geek to us. So I'll see you soon.